Good morning. Uh, this is Dr. Rupesh Kashik. I want to share one special procedure, uh, rotor ablation in, uh, used in calcific coronary artery. This is angiography of 80-year-old male. And you can see that before die comes, there is a lot of uh, this blackish shadows which are hanging. These blackish shadows are actually calcium deposits. These are actually calcium deposits yeah, which makes angioplasty difficult because with in the presence of this calcific deposit, stent expansion will be inadequate and long-term results will be poor. So, before uh, this advent of this procedure, most of these cases were managed by bypass. Now, uh, you can see in this different view, there's a lot of calcium deposit we can see here also. And we have gone for uh, rotablation in this case, which is uh, this is the case uh, we have taken for rota ablation, cross rota wire and then there are multiple passes of this small bar which is uh, rota bar. This is 1.5 mm rota bar. It is rotating inside coronary artery at the speed of 1.5 to 1.7 lakhs rotation per minute. Uh, depends on the speed which you set. I set the speed at 1.6 lakhs rotation per minute in this case and I am doing multiple passes. So when this bar, uh, rotating bar crosses the calcific coronary segment it breaks the coronary calcium into pieces which are very small even smaller than rbc's so these fragmented calcium deposits are then engulfed by the macrophages clearing it from the system so when you do multiple passes of rota ablation you breaks all the calcium bar on the way and then you can easily uh, do angioplasty by routine process so your expansions are good you can see that when you inflate the stent expansion is good here so uh, I am inflating the second stent. So this is post uh, stenting. I am doing post dilation. Results are extremely good. We can see that there is a good expansion of the artery after stenting. These are different views to check that there is artery expansion is very good. And this is a pre and uh, procedure. You can see there is a lot of uh, disease. You can see that left main. This is the left main part. This left main is 80% occluded. This is around 90% at this point, and this is 80% at left main, and proximal LED is 80% stenosis. In different views, I can show you. There is a left main uh, here, left main disease, and there's a 90% lesion here. You can see there is a very narrow channel here. So these are the pre-procedure angiograms and this is the post-procedure i'll show you these are the post-procedure views this is the final result you can see good expanded left main this is the left main portion which had 80 percent so this is the led lesion which had 90 percent lesion so uh, nice expanded stent with rotablation thank you